Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. America. My name is Anthony Tozano. Welcome to Gervaisi's. Come on, let's go have a little something to eat. This is where all the work gets done. No te preocupes. Okay. This is uh, where the love happens. So, Ricky, uh, what do you think? A little uh, pasta primavera? I got my friend Ricky here uh, shooting the tape. I don't know how you're going to be able to see any. I can see a film from that angle. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make him something to eat because when you come to my house, you got to feed him. So, come on. We're going on a little journey. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of julienne red peppers. We're gonna put some julienne zucchini and carrots. Some shiitake mushrooms. A little toss. A pinch of uh, tropani sea salt. A little pinch of black pepper. A little bit of the fresh oregano crunch. A little crackle in there. A pinch of thyme. A pinch of hot pepper. We're gonna do a nice little Chinese cup. We're gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of vino bianco. Okay. As my friend Snoop Doggy Dog would say, we're gonna hit it with a little chicken schnizzle. Let's not forget a little bit of fresh basil. And tell you the truth, I like to chop my my flat leaf Italian parsley a la menu. So we get all the essential oils in there. Listen, I, I've been in the industry for about 20 years. And when I first started, you know, the friends of mine that would come to the restaurant were friends that I grew up with. And, uh, you know, they didn't really know what to call me. So they started calling me Delish. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. And since 1994, I've been known as Chef Delish. Chef Delish, what's your wish? It's about, you know, making people's wishes come true. Because if people have a party with you or have a function at your restaurant and you're the person cooking for them, you're that's a very big responsibility and I take that seriously. Uh, so, listen, in this business you gotta be international, all right? You gotta, you gotta be trilingual. There's a little bit of fresh marinara sauce. You want to know something? Good food, for me, is a celebration of you know culture, celebration of tradition, and it's also a way to learn other people's cultures and other people's traditions. Let's say somebody from Thailand invites you over their home. They're going to give you the best of what they have to offer of what you know they will grow up with. So. I mean, to, to be able to share in those kind of experiences is it, it's, it's wonderful. We're going to finish it with some organic olive oil. So how does that look, folks? Uh, is that something that you might be interested in? Okay, un plato, por favor. Very good. Completed. You gotta understand, folks, that people eat with their eyes first. People eat with their eyes first, and the first thing that they're gonna do is see your dish. So, you know, taking pride in quality and, and how you're gonna present your dish is very, very important. That, you know, not only should it, should it look good, but it should also, you know, it should also taste good. So I'm gonna finish this with a little bit of fresh nigata and a little bit of truffle oil. Truffle oil will never hurt anybody. And that's for you, Ricky. Enjoy. I've been watching the Food Network for a long time, and I watch the show religiously. And one of the things that Bob tries to stress to some of the contestants is that, what is it about you that would want to make America want to watch you and come back to you? Well, I think what something about me is that they're going to feel like they're family. They're going to feel that they're part of my family and that they're learning a, they're learning a dish from an uncle, um, a godfather. Obviously, you can tell that I'm a big, imposing figure. 
And I've been stereotyped my whole life, like to be quote unquote, oh, Italian guy, you know, are you going to break my legs? No, I don't want to do that. I want to make you happy. I want to share a little bit of my culture with you, a little bit of my upbringing with you. But basically, I just want to feed you.